Brought to you by Jameer Food. The food you love delivered fast. Person one must be there because he's a uniting factor to everybody. Mm. Everybody, you can see even uh, today. House is adjourned to Tuesday, two of All right, there you are. Since playing out yesterday um, across the city, we understand in some other parts of the country, Lira and a couple of other places, there was something resemblant to that. Let's dig in and make sense of what happened yesterday. I'm joined by uh, the Honorable Frank Tumwebaze. Um, since first time here in the morning, he yes, always comes in the evenings, and he's here with us. He is the information minister. In a way, he is as if my boss, even though he does not like to pay me salary. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's good to have you here, Honorable. How are you? Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming through. Yes, yes. Also have with us the Honorable Francis Mujuche. He's member of parliament for Weju. I expected that you were going to come with that red, band, red bandana looking like a ninja tattoos. What happened? Well, it is for specific purpose. Ah, you're keeping it for <laughs> next week. <laughs> the, the country is breeding. Uh, Let me start with you, Honorable Mujuche. Um, some people feel that this is um, a win, a round one win for you folks uh, in the opposition and the others that feel the constitution should remain as is. Is that the way you feel? Well, I don't think there was any win for any member of parliament or for the opposition. I think the statement yesterday was very clear, mm. the sanctity of parliament, that we are not going to registrate on gunpoint, that you're not going to surround the parliament. You remember there was a helicopter even moving around, you know, that you are not going to jump over vehicles, you're not going to use the border borders to parliament, that you're not just go and sit and pretend as if all is well, as if the situation is normal, uh, 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 and, 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 and then talk about other issues. So for me yesterday was not just about Article 102B, no. It was about under what environment the parliament was operating. That the, par that the speaker of parliament had to be humiliated by security. That the security of parliament was not in charge, you know. So for me yesterday was about parliament. And under what, uh, as a workplace, you have a workplace here. So, parliament is my workplace. Under what conditions am I going to, to work? Now, if I am being humiliated, what about my brother in Makerere? My brother in Makerere is being shot. My other brother on Kampara Road is being uh, uh, harassed. But two, what forces us to registrate under those circumstances? So for me, yesterday was a win for parliament. Mm. For the sanctity of parliament, that we will not, no, we will not have a situation like there was in 1966, that members of parliament, first of all, are being singled out. That you, Frank, you can enter. You, you say you will not enter, but you, you, you must remain in your house. But you will use police vehicles to take you. No, mm. that we must all be members of parliament in equal measure, and that when we go to legislate, we on behalf of Ugandans, then Ugandans must be free. We cannot re pretend to be registering at parliament when Ugandans are, are, are in running battles. For me, it was mm. about that. What about Weber, was this called for? Um, if you went 
through Kampala. You would think, wait, wait a minute, this looks like a war zone. There's members all over the place, people are being beaten and so on, and yet they're saying, look, we are just opposed to this thing, we are doing this peacefully, but uh, they were raided in heavily by the you security forces. Thank you, Joel. Happy to be on your show. I'm always here for the night, so you people who disturb my morning, <laughs> I would you charge, need to the country. I would charge you. The point is, let's not discuss consequences and forget actions. Actions lead to consequences, isn't it? Security follows circumstances. You get it? You are here doing your work as a journalist. Mm. I'm here doing my work as a political leader. <coughs> it's my duty to be here because I'm a political leader. Security has its goal to its work. If you behave in a way that calls for security preparedness and readiness, don't blame them. Would we be happy if people kill each other? Was there a reason for security to, 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 to deploy at parliament or around parliament? There was. Last week, there was a fight in the corridor, okay, between members of parliament. Members of parliament in broad daylight, I don't have to mention their names, you, you have their video clips. We are saying there will be blood in the chambers. Even last night, there will be blood in the chambers. We shall fight. We shall tear them. Those are not part of the rules of engagement in parliament. So when you sound word, even the speaker, the speaker, the presiding speaker yesterday said it. <laughs> if if you, 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 you alarm war, security will pick interest. So really, instead of condemning security, they are doing their work. They didn't mm. come to switch off microphones. They secured parliament. When you go to state house, there are three arms of government. Okay? The executive, which is, which is, which is held by the president who sits at state house. You have the judiciary. You have parliament. Those are very, very important centers of the country. So well, anything, that, that, that let me finish my point, Joel. Mm -hmm. Let me finish my point. So anything that threatens the institution mm. of that arm of government, we have to have regarded. So when you go to State House and you find members around there, is State House seated? I hear you on the part, yes. on the part of yes. deployment. So our and so behavior. Well, well, our when behavior, you say the Joel, of, uh, you know, what the people behavior, are saying. Our behavior, mm. our behavior. Mm. We definitely give security work. All right, yes, granted, yes, totally yes, granted, yes. totally granted. Yes. But, but you see, what, yes. what I'm saying is, yes. Yes. Uh, that can explain the deployment bit. But yes. does it explain the beatings, the harassment of students? There was over, no beating at Parliament. But there was that, that Makere University, where, uh, a student is, uh, you know, about a couple of them are uh, seriously that, injured around yes. Kampala. People yes. are bundled up. Yes. Now that's where the problem comes. Okay. Here. I don't speak for police. You can call them here. But word over. Word over. Riot management. We're, we're, that's okay. The, the, the chopper, that, that was at Makere University. It didn't shoot anyone. Ra the student was shot and they're still hospitalized. It was by a rubber bullet. If it was by a bullet, he or she would be dead. But even the rubber bullet was a manager, Brother Joel, <laughs> uh. word over. There is no way you will manage riots. You will manage demos. You get it? With, with, without inconveniencing people. <clears throat> so let's discuss the actions. The action is, the point here is, okay? There is a proposal in Parliament about the constitution so is there anybody or a group of people who have a right to say you can't discuss that and that's the message you're saying no nobody will stop me an elected member of parliament of kamwenge <coughs> to express my opinion absolutely not so if that was a bullet somebody would be dead so you can definitely see that that's an injury so you're happy that they are injured. i am not happy i am mm. not happy but police has to do its work for you to collect the news items you read here you go through a number of things so you wanted the students to overrun one day, vandalize shops. So don't discuss consequences. Dwell on the actions and their causes. Oh, no, yes. um, when you folks said it's going to be bloody, there's going to be bloodshed in parliament. And, uh, so and you think what, what police will fold arms? Well, but you see, <laughs> I want to look at this from a different angle. Yes. When Arabanita said, we have the army, we will show you. And definitely the army came. Mm. My brother doesn't want to condemn her. She just thinks that by a member of parliament to call a press conference and said, who are you opposition? We have the army. It is with us that that is okay. That's not true. Uh, 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 and, uh, and when fin and, and, and finally when the army comes, uh, 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 because people are saying, uh, uh, Anita has no power, how can she? But the army came. So at the end of the day, this was clear. And of course, this is not the first time. We know how this government reacts. But they came to do what? They came to put, make sure yeah, it is I wish, you, I wish you can let me yes, make my point. Yes. Now, if some member of parliament had made uh, uh, a comment <clears throat> th 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 that showed maybe would be a fight in parliament, 
how can I fight in parliament inside the army? Because if I am in parliament and I'm going to fight with Honor Frank, whether the army is outside or not, we shall fight. That's so, illegal. Now, I'm saying <laughs> if we have to fight, we we'll definitely fight. If, if we fought here, security would come in. <laughs> well, but, but you see, yes. you, you see, yes. how does the army come in? Yes. Are you saying police has no capacity to secure parliament? Well, can I make my point, okay, please? Okay, okay, yes. okay. Be because that would suggest that police has no capacity to secure parliament. We were told that the reason we were told that the reason we were having uh, um, our, our, our vehicles were, we couldn't enter parliament with our vehicles was that there the, 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 the was uh, a short circuit within parking in, in the building. <coughs> and then we were saying, are you saying you are more interested in the security of our vehicles and not the members of parliament? Why then don't you inform members of parliament that the situation at parliament the security situation is not good. Don't come with your vehicles. Or why don't you say, please remain at home. Tomorrow is not a good day at parliament. Instead of having to make members of parliament, the speaker, the commissioners, go. But you see, on the room, I think let me interject here. No, no, I'm not going to allow you to. No, no, no. I'm not going to allow you to. No, no, no. Finish up. I think we'll allow the minister to respond. There is a moderator. Okay. Yes. Now, when you talk about the consequences, Ladies and gentlemen who are really viewing this program, we need to appreciate that, for example, the students were, were in the square, just, just singing, singing, and, and, and they were saying, Tojukwata ko. No student was. You were at parliament, not, not in Makere. But the pictures are here for you to see. Are, are, but, are you brain? But they are running. Are you brain? The pictures are here they for are you here to see. They are running with the police. The student, before the you police came, parliament. look at Rukwago. Look at Rukwago. Rukwago is not a student. Look at him. Rukwago is not a student. Everything is talking about the different happenings. But you see, no, no, no. You have to make my point. Let me make my point. With all due respect. Let me make my point. With all due respect. You are a minister of you are a minister of ICT. I respect you yes. from when you were a student. Yes, yes. Don't yes. come to, 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 to a station and pretend mm. a, a mayor is just standing at the gate and somebody comes and boxes him in police uniform. Yes, see. Mm. All right, let, let's, 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 let's bring in and, and, and let me tell you from um. can come in. This one, see, this one, these were not policemen. Mm. These were people who are undergoing military training, mm. who are given uniform to come and help in Kampara. So, Pro prove what you, what when, you see, when you see how somebody came and boxed the mayor mm. in a police uniform, you mm. know this was a goon. Okay, okay. As, as you, you see, come in, uh, you let, see. let me ask this. You're mm. going to respond to what he's saying. Uh, mm. When he says these were not police and so on, yesterday mm. we spoke mm. to the spokesperson of Kampala Metropolitan yes. Police. Yes. And... Yes. Um, I asked him about a couple of things. Yes. They raid on uh, the NGO offices, which in many ways is tethered to this and so on. He had no idea about it. He had no idea about the arrest of Lukago and so on and so forth. I said, but boss, this is your jurisdiction. When you tell me you have no idea, and the man was very plain honest, and I believed him. And so I kept wondering, so who exactly is running this Pol show? Is this police or Police has a command, okay? They run their operations, and as, as I said, we are not going to discuss the nitty gritty why this was arrested and not the other situations you create you invite the security agencies police to work with military police or any other sister agencies is not strange okay for security reinforcements we have what we call the joint security council different security agencies reinforce each other if we do not want the inconvenience of security Okay, let's follow the rules that we have set. The rule you are talking about, about NG offices. Fortunately, I have seen. Mm. Okay, people use the got court orders. So let people do their work. They went through the court, they got court orders to search the, wara, the, the, the premises of those uh, affected people. So leave them to do their work. Why did they go to action aid and not uh, uh, Kamwenge aid <laughs> as an NGO? So the point is, uh -huh. let's not dwell. On circumstances the way we behave attracts police but look at the whole point mm. a crusade is initiated somebody says, you're talking about Anita how did Anita come into that somebody says you will not amend the Constitution you will not debate in Parliament it will be impossible for the speaker to chair the house why don't you talk about that who has authority in this country to say Parliament will not do its work Parliament is a platform of all Ugandans through their representatives. But where the people elected by Brother Mujiche, I was elected by Kamwenge, Magez was elected by Ushei. 
what you support and what I don't support, we are all free. So really, let's differentiate between form mm, and, and substance. substance. When you say and that the substance in here mm. are the proposals people are making, are putting mm. forward. Come up. Tell us how removal of age limit will affect our democracy. Okay, and then I will answer I mean. you back. Honorable, you still have the floor. Yes. Uh, when you say that everybody is free to espouse yes. their views, yes. there's a bit of a contradiction. The yes. IGP wrote a letter yes. uh, before yesterday saying all the people that have written to him seeking for permission to protest, and you know, peacefully. Yes. Different, different people across the town. He yes. said, you know what? Yes. None of this is going to be allowed. Yes. And there's a problem with that. When ministers held a press conference yesterday, I did mm. not see you at it. I think mm. we found you at your office later on. My colleague did. Yes. They were saying, look, everybody should be free to express themselves. And we're thinking, wait a minute. Mm. You guys can express yourselves, but those that want to protest peacefully, saying no to remove of age limit from yes. our constitution, yes. they cannot be allowed. Where is the fairness no, no, in that? No, no, no. You see, you should be very fair to police. And, and invite police to talk to you. For, fortunately, we have a very engaging police force. Okay. They, they, they are empowered. They are mandated by law mm. to work with you who wants to hold a procession, mm. okay? On the routes to take, on the, on the traffic guidelines to follow, mm. so as not to paralyze business. But if you say, I have my rights, I don't want police to guide me on which route to take, they will definitely inconvenience, inconvenience you. Because your right to, to, to a procession should not jeopardize mm. business in Chikubo, should not jeopardize business along Kampala Road. Let's listen to the police. Okay, mm. they are doing their work mandated by Article 212 of detecting and preventing crime for the interest of everybody. Let's follow that. Let's not provoke them for, for, for them to come to where we are. Okay, L let's debate this same kind of crusade of is it called Jukwata or I don't know which language is that had moved around the whole country successfully. Where they worked with the police. Oh, whatever. <laughs> but, but you see, I've yes. moved around the country. We have seen Mao arrested several no, years. Wait a minute. That was yesterday. Day. That was the other day. Even previously, there's a yes. moving around so the country. An arrest has circumstances that lead to it. You get the point? If you go to a window and demonstrate in front of the, of the market and block the entrance of, of people going in and coming out, they, they will evacuate you. Uh, uh, yes, are, are you folks engaging these people or is it a question of all right you've dug in your heels we are going to dig in ourselves as well you know it's going to be bloody and so on uh, one as, would expect uh, as a member that, that, uh, of, uh, because you see they've got the numbers and uh, one would think you should be appealing to their reason and saying you know what people we've got a constitution we need to mm -hmm. abide by it we need to uphold it that, that kind of engagement because i've seen some several nrm mps actually backing your idea you, you see it's not about numbers it's about reason Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, 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 and that's why, look at what happened in Makere, and I want to go back to it. Students were singing in the square. And you're talking about freedom. It is their freedom square. They're in the square, and they are saying, I, I heard them saying, Makere is a summer of Uganda. So we are here as Ugandans to tell the president and, and, and the government that we are against the amendment of Atco 102B. At the square, hooligans in police uniform just come and drive through them. Now, were they going to steal people's property at the square? You want to see how some people can be dishonest? Two, somebody says you will not debate in parliament. It is not going to be easy for all of us in this parliament. And then you say the solution to this is bring a member around the parliament. That's not what? true. Did a, ma a member enter the house? No, no. Did, did, did I am using the, the word chambers? around. Please. No, I mean, no. Mark my words. No, no, no. Mark my words, Honorable. Yes. I, I am using the word around. I mean, if you threaten to ban parliament, police will not sit down. Hello? I did did I the police enter the chambers? Well, I Did I they switch off the microphones of the, of the house? I, I am not going to answer your I question. Mean, I mean, don't just exaggerate for the show. Police didn't enter the chambers. You see, are you within the chambers? We have our rules of engagement. Well, well they, they, we they laid siege see, on the outside. We, we, we and, and I had some people say, no we are not if here to to what happened you in 1966. In the red we, are, we are not here to what happened in 1966. What if you had brought knives? So, since how then did the red banners get into parliament if you had security? I mean, that's the point. That's the indictment that you're just posing. Posing what? What do you mean by how then did how then? You see, sh no, 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 no,
made an oath. Yes. I am not going to bet under gunpoint. Two, that I am not going to allow yes. the parliament of Uganda mm. to be run like a barracks. That's not if true. you want to do that, yes. you can take parliament mm. to Mbuya, you can take it to Bombo, but mm. as long as it is on parliamentary avenue, mm. as long as I am still a member of parliament who believes in the constitution, I will still come and okay, say, I think let's wait, get to wait, the wait, 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 let's get the wait, issues. Let's allow you finish. I'm going to come I, to you. I will still come and say, I am not comfortable mm. to continue debating in the circumstances until I believe that as a member of parliament, I am safe. Otherwise, yesterday, necessitated that we break off until the situation at parliament is so favorable for all of us. All right. I hope okay, you see. You I, I, I have to use about the board. I want to finish it, with this. Uh, uh, I, want, I want to end with this. Mm. I, I came out of my house, I, I, I attempted to get out of my house yesterday in the morning at 8. And it was surrounded by police. And they were saying, you are not give, leaving your house. I said, I am a member of parliament. I have to go and represent my people. And these goons, I don't want to call them policemen because police behave better. People I pay, and I'm also, they, also, they, also, they also pay me. So we are Ugandans. are saying, you are not going to leave. I said, I must leave. They said, you're not. I had to use my means, get out of my house, leave them guarding an empty house, and use a border border. All right, let's, from, let's, from let's, 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 let's bring in Honorable yeah, Tumwebae. Right. 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 Honorable, as you come in... So um, how do you explain a situation where members of parliament have to run on border borders? So okay. Because they, all right, you've talked about Wakiso where you reside. So and Honorable, as, as you yes. come in, yes. um, Wakiso and Entebbe, with specificity, mm. 23 women in a space of about four yes. months Before have been murdered. Be, it's it's tethered. It's yes, okay. You're going to come in. I would answer that. And then some people are thinking, yes. wait a minute. Yes. These women being murdered the other side, there's mm. little mm. police presence. Mm. But here in the city, the whole place has been barricaded. It, it, and people are wondering, where are our priorities? Police should perhaps be deployed yes, a lot more the other side to safeguard life. Let's clear the issues. Mm. Life is everywhere. Security incidents, every security incident of this country is followed. That's why you and me wake up safe and come to the studios, okay? The many more threats that police uh, for stores and uh, controls are not known by you and me. You get the point. So, the death of women is, is, is regrettable and there is work being done. That's why they are not 1,000. That's why they are not 100, okay? C criminal rates... Criminal, criminal rate in every city is always there. So police is giving it the attention it deserves. Only that it does not do that on the show every morning to tell you who is behind it, to tell you that they have arrested people there in court. Now, beyond arresting suspects and taking them to court, okay, and providing the adequate security and investing in intelligence. Mm. Now, there's, there's nothing more they can do to that. But that does not mean that they don't attend to any other business. So we are doing so much on the security operation at Parliament. But I have said, and I want to continue saying this, if we don't behave ourselves, the police will not be angels. They will do what the law mandates them to do. And Jacob Olanya wrote on the said it on the floor, that our immunities as members of parliament are there to the extent of, to the extent of our freedoms of speech. Okay? I have no immunity. I have no protection to sound war drums in parliament or threaten anybody or beat up somebody as we saw attempts. Okay? So the whole point is, nobody is going to intimidate anyone. I hear you people talking about the numbers. Numbers are an expression of vote of confidence from the people. But they not numbers are not there by chance. Numbers are not there by witchcraft. So when somebody is saying, you must debate for the people, we debate for the people because we are there because of the people. That's right. why we um, have more numbers than mm. our comrades. So I went from what it happened is. yesterday. So no, let, no, me, let's, let's, let me finish my point. All right, my do. brother had a lot of time to say. So... First of all, a message should be had here, uh, taken in by anybody, that nobody will stop anybody in the parliament of Uganda from expressing him or herself. That's point number one. The removal of age limit is not in any way, uh, is not in any way an affront on democracy as they talk about. We can, we can do research. Age limiting is not anywhere a benchmark of democracy. It's not anywhere. We can look at South at America, we can look at Asia, we can look at Australia, Nicaragua, UK, Germany. There's no age limiting. But people bring in the political emotions. We fear the NRM is coming from 70. Why do you fear 70 if it's unpopular? 
if we are making a mistake, why don't you allow us to hang ourselves mm. and then Ugandans vote us out? Let me read for you something now that yes. you talk about Museveni. Yes. In 1986, he said, the problem of Africa in general and Uganda in particular is not the people, but leaders who want to overstay in power. That's on the first story, uh, first page of the Daily Monitor. In 2012, he said, I think after the age of 75, there's some, some, something, some scientific idea uh, there that maybe the vigor is not as much as before. I think if you want very active leaders, it is good to have ones below the age of 75. Don't you want an active leader for this country? He's very active. But you see... He the, doesn't the, think beyond 75 one, he will be the, active. The, the ones you are talking about, mm. if you called me here 30 years from now, or if you, are, if you called uh, Colonel Chisa Besi here, why mm. did he... No, forget oh, about no, this. No, we're not talking about Mr. Vendi. Don't divert me. Frank will definitely have to bring in Don't divert me. You know, I have, not, I, I have not seen Frank on any show. The, the, when he will not want the to bring in The words you say today, mm. okay? They can change. They can change so, depending on why. Then in that case, that's you, why, you come out openly and why. say, look, my views have now Go changed. Go and interview him. Please that's forgive me that's, for that's having lied to you. That's why I'm telling you, you. I, I, that's why that's why I'm telling you when he was that interviewed. That in the CA, that in the CA, mm. wait a minute, uh, and I finish my point. I allowed you to talk. In the CA, people who vehemently opposed the inclusion of the age limit clause are the ones now saying to Jikwata, Okay, let me not talk about your basic man. But he was the one on the hand side. He yeah. never supported the inclusion of age limit. You get it? The late Mayombo was strongly for the inclusion. So you want to tell me that today if I have this... For, fortunately, you, you had the president say, maybe there is a scientific idea. And the other day when he, and was, when asked, he was asked, will you stand beyond 75 in 2021? He said, absolutely So not. what has he told you now? You seem to be working. Uh, what uh, has he told way. you? Right now, actually, what, what he has he told you? Let me tell you what he has told yes. us. Last week, my yes. colleagues asked him again. Yes, yes. And uh, his story is different. He said, now, beyond the age of 75. It is here. Read it. I think he should <laughs> ask medical doctors. Uh, I should not interfere with their work. Exactly. He should get a medical report about the fitness of someone past 75 years of age. It is consistent. Well, one would expect him to say, I, I said yes. I would not run beyond 75. You're yes. not active enough at that point. Yes. Would expect him to affirm it. The debate now. He did not affirm it. The debate is not about him standing. The debate now is about a constitutional principle of age limit. What you're doing for him, one would think. Are you not doing it for him? Well, that's your thinking. That's Why is doing this for honor? But what's your thinking? <laughs> if it was for him, yeah. wasn't he present, present in this country during the CA? Why didn't they do it for him? No, you're doing it right now. Yes. And uh, so my question would be, who yes. are you doing it for? We, who is the other person are, that will be beyond 75 in your party? Mm. We are saying that if I'm 76, mm. I am allowed to vote. But I can't be voted for. You get it? That's... That's a discrimination, mm. and it can lead to voter apathy. All right, so gentlemen, allow, allow me to pick so, three calls, and then I'm going to start with you after the calls. Yeah, there's people that have been ringing off the hook. Let's allow them to give us some feedback. Uh, first caller, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's your name, sir? My name is John. Yes, John, talk to us in, um, yeah, in 30 I'm, seconds. Yes, I just want to ask the information minister. Mm. When you talk about the age limit of the president, that it is not anywhere in the world, it is not in America, it is not mm. in Europe. Mm. But how did the age limit enter into the constitution if it was not, uh, if it was not that? How did it enter into the constitution? All right. It is, it is constitutionalized, mm. and therefore, if it is meant you know, to be looked at, then that is against the constitution. This is what I would want to say. Mm. Okay. okay, thank you. I uh, will pick about three or four as time allows. Uh, let's make it brief and please reduce the volume on your TV set when you call us. Hello, good morning. Hello. You're live through. Please speak to us. Good morning. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. good morning. What's your name, Chief? Hello. Hello, I hear you. Good morning. I'm Tony calling from Bari. Tony from Bari. Speak to us in a minute. I would like to ask you the minister on the, on the, on the TV, mm. tell us in Africa or in East Africa, mm. where have you had a president of 75 so far? And secondly, mm. what does that mean to think that the president can do, that he has failed to do in the last 31 years? Let okay. For us. Thank you for asking that. I can help the minister answer one of them. Mugabe down in Zimbabwe is 94. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll pick somebody else. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Uh, please reduce the volume on your TV. We are getting feedback here. Okay, sorry, we had to cut that caller. When you call, please reduce Hello. the volume on your TV. Send. Good morning. Good morning, Joel. What's your name, sir? Uh, this is Frank speaking from Makere. Yes, Egwang, you said? 
hello. You said your name is? This is Frank speaking from Kenya. Frank, all right. Speak to us yeah, at your name's sake. I would like to inform that Minister Honorable Frank Mwebaze. Mm. He's just trying to solicit cheap operator from the president. He's he trying to solicit what? Favor. Uh, the proprietor from the president, in case the president gets through, she, he should uh, return him into power. <laughs> mm, but he's already a minister. <laughs> he's already a minister, but he still needs to be in power. That's what he's ah, about okay. to okay. 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 Thank you for sharing that, Frank. Okay, I will speak to somebody else. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. What's your name, Chief? I've got the telephone, Kasozi, you said? Yes. Yes, Kasozi. Speak to us in 20 uh, seconds. What's your uh, call? Excuse me. I'll give you the honor of Franca. Mm. Honor of Franca, this is a regime of murderers. Your president must go. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying this is a regime of murderers. Well, what do you mean when you say regime of murderers? They should be in Katonga, everywhere in this country. And they must be able to the power. Okay. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Um, okay. We'll pick just one final caller, and uh, then we'll wrap it up. Just one. Hello? Good morning. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Morning to you. What's your name, sir? Uh, no. Thank you, Honorable Flanka. Okay, what's your comment in 20 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Let, let's lose that caller. Uh, our time is uh, running fast. <coughs> we, we need to respond. I'd cut you short before you had responded, then the minister will uh, respond yeah, to I, I, the queries. I want to say that even in 1966, mm. ministers spoke like Frank. He was not the born. Uh, <laughs> but but people read history. <laughs> and I've had you, you know, talk about history in uh, a very amazing way. But anyway. So, <laughs> ministers spoke like Frank. Uh. I know they justified the, 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 the army's involvement, they justified the security's involvement. Even in 1980. When uh, seven and group went to the bush, first of all, they were only 27, so they did not have the numbers. So it was not about the numbers. Mm. If it was about the numbers, I don't think seven would have been anywhere near people saying we should go and fight for Ugandans. Because, first of all, he had less than 0.5%. Uh, 0 but two, there was a court. He never went to court. Three, there was parliament. Now, people are in parliament. They are not throwing bottles. They are not throwing any stones. They are not saying, this is not right. And for him, he says, that is stupidity. That is hopelessness. How can you do that? This is actually the, mo the best way of doing it. We are actually teaching the, 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 the former rebels that there is a better way of doing it. But because they are used to um, coming in with, with the army, you know, every time somebody is challenged, they think of their AK-47. You remember that time when the president had to go to Bududa with an AK-47 to, to respond to, 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 to mad sides. So every time there's a challenge, for them they think of their gun. There was no need for guns yesterday. There was need for brains. That you come intellectually and say, no, I don't believe in this. I also tell you I don't believe in that. But if you think you're going to use guns, let me tell you. You will not make us debate on gunpoint. At least that will not happen. But you made that point a long time ago. Make no. another one. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's well, make another well, one. Frank, You've made it several times. Well, I want to emphasize it. Make what, another point. You are not going to determine which point I'm going to I am, I am here debating with you. Am I putting on gunpoint? I have the capacity to engage well, you and silence you, want you, tell, you want, with you, my you, mouse. You want, <laughs> me, you want me to tell the, the viewers uh, what you left behind? I think let's answer the no, question. No, no, no. Joel. You are not... Oh, you are just not, finish up. Yes. Then we allow the minister to respond to what has been raised. I have more questions to respond to. You see, this is intellectual dishonesty. The minister wants to, to, to hide b behind trivialities and run off from the point. The point is that Ugandans have challenges. There is a lot of poverty, the roads are poor, the healthcare is broken down. We, we contested now, on that. Now, instead of coming... NRM and FDC contested on that in the, at the polls. Me. You offered them and can, can we defeated you. Well, don't point the finger at we me. We defeated you. No, no, I'm just debating. So, so don't let We contested me. on those issues. Uganda is said... I, I won on those issues. I am oh. a member of parliament. You did, yes. yes. But so can, you, can you allow me to speak that I won yes. by telling Ugandans... That's why that, we're in parliament. That, uh, yes, and that's why I'm that's saying... That's why you are paid that's why, Yes, that's why I'm saying yes. that we would rather be in parliament yes. discussing about health care... But that's it. 
But is it, your colleagues are saying Please. we want to discuss. Can you be honorable? No, 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 no. Hey, honorable. We, get to the issue. Honorable. I'm helping you to get focused. You cannot help me when you cannot help yourself. <laughs> no, I'm helping you to no. get focused. You see when you, you get all right, just, just you, finish you your point, then I'll allow the see, minister to come. You see, through. the minister has this uh, set of importance. No, no, he no, thinks no, he's no, a very no, big man. Get to so the issues. Get to the issues. All right, let's 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 allow. Let me moderate. Let's allow Honorable Muzuche to finish up. Then I'll come to the minister. So you can see. I am saying, as members of parliament, would rather be interested in our, our people, the healthcare system, the breakdown of everything in this country. Instead, we are just in parliament. Shouting age limit, no age limit, age limit, no age limit. And you ask, how does that translate? All right, good question. Let's get to the to minister. Uh, a couple of issues have. Uh -huh. Finally, mm. at 102, that is clearly for President Museveni for life presidency, is, is something we are going to resist. We are going to use whatever is humanly possible within our means, constitutionally, to make sure that the grabbers of power, the grabbers of land, don't grab this constitution. All right. Okay, let's let, let, let me, the minister you, come you, in you now. You see, Joel, it's not about talking too much and exaggerate issues and turn chaotic. That, that, that will convince Ugandans. You get the point. We went, we went through the polls. My brother talks about health issues and all of that. You get the point. We contested on service delivery. Okay? Ugandans chose a team they had confidence in. So that's not a question. Our brothers had an alternative manifesto. We had our own. Each one of us articulated our health strategy, our water strategy, our road strategy. Ugandans chose not only a president of which party, they chose the majority members of parliament, they chose the majority local government leader. But if you're talking on elections, so, uh, Ben wait, Ali of wait, Tunisia wait, just got an 89% of a vote. Minute, People wait, overthrew wait, him. Wait a minute. Mubarak, uh, Hussein Mubarak of Egypt, have, just run by 94%, and the same people overthrew him. We have I'm just giving you information. Joel, we have had that story, and it's irrelevant. No, but it's relevant it because you're saying you won, and I'm just saying you about others that won more than elections. It is three elections that contests on issues get tested. And people choose the team they believe will serve them. If that team deviates, what they call shocking, if it shocks its responsibility, then it's voted out. You, you get the point. So John, John asked me, how did they... You notice by the way all the callers are against the lifting of presidential age limit from the that's constitution. Okay, that's okay. And he's you, talking you, about the majority. You, you picked three, four callers, okay? It's, it's a sample. It's a yes, sample. There yes, were about yes, five, yes. actually. It's but okay. anyway. It mm -hmm. is not a problem. You see, people who are in the parliament mm. represent constituencies. And we know what our people say. Have so you consulted them on these matters? Don't worry about that. You're if saying you if we don't it. consult them, mm. we, we become unpopular and we're voted out. A and that should be good music to the music team. All right. If we are doing the unpopular we, thing... We, we have a minister so to John end is asking how did they, they, Even uh, when you are voted uh, out, you uh, don't uh, want to go... How did the age limit enter into a constitution? I mean, people put it there. There were those opposed to it. There were those... Uh, for it. Mm. And the same constitution put Article 259 and prescribed the procedure of how anybody with a different view on any pro article mm. can change it. Okay, respond to the person who said after 31 years, in yes. 2021 it will be 35 years. Yes. What more can you do that you have failed to do in 35 years? What more? There is always progress moving forward. If I build roads today, tomorrow I will review the aviation. It's all about ideas. The Uganda w we started repairing in 86, okay, which had collapsed did not collapse because it had been under one leader for a long time. We had had over eight presidents in 24 years, in 24 years 62 to 86. So longevity should be assessed. If you, want, right. if you yeah. want to look at the, the track record of the NRM, we can yeah, account for every right. sector. We can account for every sector and we can show you going forward what mm. we tend to do. And All these right. are the issues. Yeah, gentlemen, I have two minutes to wrap yes. it up. I'm going yes. to be fair and so give as each I finish, of you I that one point. minute. I'm going to come back to you. Okay. I'll allow him one minute strictly. And then one minute strictly, and we'll be done. You one minute, Francis. Well, most Ugandans know that the popularity is talking about this government does not have it. They have not been winning elections. Ugandans know that even as we talk now, this time President Museven did not win. He had first um, break into FDC offices, take Dr. Bessie to prison, take him to Karamoja and everywhere for him to be announced. He was fearing the, the popularity of, of, I mean, of, of the opposition. And that's why everybody in Kampara was in a war zone for President Museven to be sworn in. So it's not about popularity too. Everybody knows that whenever we are going to discuss issues, 
whether, whether in the villages, whether in towns, security will be there to stop you. He knows. He also knows, for example, that what happened yesterday at parliament is what happens at polling stations. Okay, and finally... But whenever there is a contestation, whenever there is a contestation, the mm -hmm. NRM government will come out with guns. Whereas we come out with ideas, they, they come out with guns. So at the end of the day, they have the guns, we have the numbers. So when you're talking about the numbers, please, it's so, not... So, so, it's uh, not you uh, see, no, 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 finish your one minute, then I'll come to you. Don't you know, for example, that... You uh, have 10 seconds, <laughs> Honorable Mwishji. Yes, that the electoral commission that there is can only announce President Museveni because he appoints it and disappoints okay, it. Don't okay. you know that? So don't you know that you you have th those numbers because of rigging? Okay, okay. okay. So... Thank you. From Francis to Frank. I like the way your name is exactly. right. You guys it's should be friends. Good friend. <laughs> what a great contradiction. So it means mm. there were no guns in Buhweju, okay? To order... I actually fought <laughs> guns. You, so this man is very strong Yes. as an individual. He defeated all the guns. So why didn't he defeat the guns? Anyway, that rhetoric we have heard about it. The guns did not bring a president. The guns didn't bring members of parliament. You have just lost nine by elections. Your own presidential candidate has been moving around, <laughs> vulgarizing NRM. But you can then still choose people they like. And the moment we continue to live in denial about Even that fact, Mubarak got 86%, it does not matter. It, was removed. it does not matter. Okay, remove uh, NRM. You've been singing that for a long time. And actually, I want to let you he know. He was I, I want to let you know yes. that Ugandans are tired of your threats. And it's those threats that you continue uh, uh, channeling out that piss them off. Actually, All right. All right. We have 30 seconds. Here so, is the flow. So, so finally, have 30 seconds. Yeah, the point is, point is, are don't, are with your militarism. Don't, don't, don't divert me. The point is, don't, don't with divert your militarism. me. Nobody. I want to make this very clear. Mm. You said you use whatever is humanly possible. My advice to you. I thank you so yes, much. My that. advice to you. Yes. Use what is legal to engage and defeat views you don't like. All right. NRM, NRM will use logic, will debate issues on the merit of their substance, and For example, we shall that, 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 that is why yesterday, that is why yesterday, All right. Thank used, you. Thank you. Used, thank you. That's you. why we used, you. Used, you. used logic yesterday. Thank you to, to the two gentlemen. There was no contest. Using logic. There was no contest. There was a, a contest. Thank you. The contest was ended, unfortunately. NRM does not contest on hooliganism. So if you organism by police so and if, the army. So if you want, it was on hooliganism. The gentleman cannot be honourable. So, so that so uh, by police if you want, and the army. It was not by members of parliament. If you want on shouting, there we allow you to win. We want on All right, um, and you, you see, our, our constitution <laughs> has a presidential <laughs> age limit. Yes, this show has a time limit. Uh, 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 this time limit has come. Uh, thank you, we shall we shall honourable Francis Mujuche. They are going to remove uh, it. Thank you and. We gave you freedom. Thank you, the Honorable Fr uh, Frank Mweba. Our, our time you is up, my friend. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Totally appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you can see discipline now. As we wrap it up, uh, <laughs> I just remind you. No, the show has ended. The, the show has ended, Honorable Mujuche. Today, the Constitution marks 22 years of age. 22nd September 1995, the Constitution was adopted and enacted by the Constituent Assembly. Happy birthday to our Constitution. Long live the Constitution. So Thank you to the two gentlemen. And that's it for the big story. Thank you for joining us. My name is Joel Senyonyi. Good morning.